everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Darkest Dungeon. I would love to uh, take a little bit more time to upgrade some things and some people and some whatnot. Uh, maybe we can actually upgrade our blacksmith. Let's take a quick look. Yes, we should get level 1 weaponsmithing. Can't get level 2, unfortunately, and can't get the furnace, but that's okay. It didn't cost us any money. This does allow us to upgrade our character's weapons, but we shouldn't spend any more money until we know that we actually have enough money to pay for our food. So, we did do... One level here, which was good. We're going to be on the estate map no matter what. We have a short level, explore 90% of rooms, or a medium level, explore 90% of rooms. We're going to take the short level here because we're not going to have uh, any, or we're not going to have as much money as I'd like for food. So I'm going to put myself, even though I'm a little stressed out here, I'd like to level up as much as possible. I'm going to put myself 2.0 here. I'm going to throw Nick into the party in his preferred position here, because he has not been here for a while and he's been awesome for us and I just upgraded the crap out of him. We're going to throw Rob into the party because I just upgraded him as well. And then we should take somebody new, and I think we should honestly take, like, a Mathis 2.0. We just upgraded one, didn't we? I thought we upgraded someone to, like, Grapeshot 2.0. Am I, am I out of my mind? Maybe we didn't? I really like having a Hellion as well, but I, I really like the Highwayman. So I'm going to put Azor in here. And uh, what are his traits? Tipler. In town will only drink. We can do that. And he has Tedinus. Minus 10 accuracy, minus 10% damage. Sorry, friend. That seems like a bad trait for you right now. What about you? Hylomania. Obsessed with material things. 20% armor upgrade cost. Is that bad or good? If it's 20% of the original cost, that's great. And Resilient, plus 10% stress heal. This seems a little bit better. Sure. Uh, you're going to become Mathis 2.0. I understand that I'm being very creative with the names here. But hey, these guys had their original classes. I think it just makes sense. Let's provide for them. Me, Mathis, Nick, Rob. It's like uh, your rare NLSS. So I'm going to take fairly standard. Oh. Um, 16 torches. My favorite R Molly Ringwald movie. And... If I could take, like, 18 food. We have 1,200 left. Let's take one shovel. Now, let's take two shovels. And this should be enough, all things considered, considering we're not camping on this one. But let's just add two more torches, just in case we need them, and to keep our, uh... To keep our light as high as it can possibly be. Ignore the black screen. There we go. Alright, we got to explore 90% of rooms. Let's look at the map quickly. It seems like a decent map for exploration. We can go like, huh, 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 boo doo 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 doo. And that's going to be better than like all the weird intersections we've had to do before. And like we've done a lot of backtracking on our runs. So we're going to start here, I guess. Not that it matters what our first selection is. Uh, Mathis is obsessed with material things, so I thought he would go straight for this, but instead, we're gonna get to do it ourselves. The urn has nothing but ashes inside. That's okay. Nick got hit by a trap that did six damage. That hurts! We don't really have anything to heal. We, we really should have taken, uh, some kind of healing character. But Bear is our best healer, and he's, uh, in stress relief right now, so hopefully this mission ends up being as easy as, uh, it should be. We surprised them. Unfortunately, that didn't augment their order at all, which pisses me off a little bit. But anyway, grape shot to hit three of them. Please, please do so. There we go. 242. Eh, it's about average, I guess. Then Rob has uh, flashing daggers, which has been upgraded now. Uh, it still only did two and two. That's not very good. Uh, Nick has the plague grenade and blinding gas and incision. Can he get a kill with incision? It's incision two. Does four to seven. What about Plague Grenade? One to one, but with a better hit chance, I guess, probably. Blinding Gas. M great hit chance. What's the stun chance? A hundred? Stun base is a hundred. And then it's going to go down uh, to 75 because of their resistance. Let's try it. Uh, we stunned one of them, at least. That's something. And then we'll be able to do Zealous Accusation and maybe... Ah! We're probably better off just taking Smite for the 78% chance for the kill right here. As wow, if I'd known that we would have critted, I probably would have gone on the first guy. But still, that's good. Alright, so that's the end of our turn. They're only going to get two attacks here, which is pretty good. Stressful Incantation, one damage, but the 15 stress is really the piss off there. And we get to attack early again. So we'll go with Mathis. 5-2-2 two, two is pretty good. The brunt of the damage being focused on the biggest asshole. 
Uh, we'll try... Doesn't Blinding Gas hit two? I guess it only hits them if there's two at the back. Same with Plague Grenade. So we should probably move towards Incision. Four to seven. Or Noxious Blast. Two to four, but with a 100% Blight chance. For two points, instead of a Bleed for one point. I think we're better off going for this, though. The 67% chance it could get a kill, and if it doesn't get a kill, there's a good chance it gets a kill with its Bleed on the next turn. Ah, did it just get a kill? Because Nick no is the greatest. Rob cannot really use flashing daggers. We can use lunge, but this will push him forward. So poison dart might be a little bit of a better choice. I don't know. This is a bit of a weird one. I don't, I don't really want to lunge forward with Rob. But we will. Mm, I don't know. Maybe we'll keep him back with poison dart. And we'll go for the lunge as like a fatal kill. So this guy's going to be poisoned. He'll end up dead next turn. Well, he's blighted. He'll end up dead next turn. Or this turn, actually, uh, as a result of smite. Which I'll... It's basically a 50% chance out of an 80% chance to get the kill. As opposed to Zealous Accusation, which is good, but is very unlikely to get the kill. So let's just knock this enemy out if possible. Nice! The enemy okay, we got one tanky enemy left. We can probably just stun him to death if we don't kill him on this turn anyway. So Mantis will have him do Wicked Slice. It does 5 to 11 with a very good... Is that a 100% crit chance? I need to look at that next time. That might literally be a 100% crit chance, in which case we should be using that all the time. And that was a very easy battle there, so I'm, I'm pretty content with that one. Let's go back to our map. Uh, don't need to burn a torch just yet, so we'll just keep moving forward. Oh no, we're already in this room. Okay, so we'll move down to this room. And we're, this is the only time we're going to have to do backtracking, is going this way, then back the other way. So this is pretty good for us. Our, our light did just get a little lower. Trying to be a lot better about noticing that. And we will get the bookshelf. The volumes are dull and uninteresting. Still a better love story than Twilight. <laughs> anyway, here we go. We didn't surprise them, but Mathis still gets to go first. Is it 100%? Oh, it's a 10% crit shot. Maybe I was missing something there. Anyway, Grape Shot, I think, is a great start. The Grape Start. Uh, Rob, with Flashing Daggers, is not going to be able to get any kills. But it, weakening two enemies, I think, is worth it. Tempting Goblet is a, uh, a stressful attack. That's okay. Nick can handle it. Quarrel is high damage, but we dodged it. Usually high damage, anyway. Graveyard Slash can be high. Uh, does it inflict bleed? No, just high damage. All right. We'll use Zealous Accusation for a decent chance to get two kills. Nice! And then we've just got two enemies left. Um, incision is pretty good and actually could get a kill. Nick is just a goddamn executioner here. I'm actually, I'm a little bit scared for the enemy team. Like, we're, we've got the dream team here. Look at this. Like, he, I, it says four to eight. I bet he gets the crit and gets the kill right here. Told you. He did eight, though. That's the highest he could possibly do. That's, I'm very pleased with that. Let's do your wicked slice. Wow! Why did that have a... This such, why does that crit all the time? I like it either way, but man. The chest contents are yours. 125 gold. That's something. We are wrecking face right now. We've only got to explore 90% of rooms, which means we can probably skip one room. Alright, good. No, uh... Surprises here, like a Radiohead song. 552 is relatively good. Blanket fire is annoying. Usually we have a pretty good chance to dodge that. And we'll use, uh. I don't think we'll use Zealous Accusation. I think we'll just go for the relatively guaranteed kill. Or higher percentage chance kill. Nice. That'll push the uh, Fusiliers up a little bit. Now, Nick is unlikely to get a kill with, uh. Incision. Might be better to go for a stun with Blinding Gas. So that'll keep one of those enemies away and allow us to use our damage over time attacks before they get a chance to attack again. Wow, Nick just got bled pretty nastily there. We can have him eat. Oh my god, four crits in a row. Nick's on death's door. I don't know if we can heal him with food, actually. All flesh fails in the fullness of time. Don't get down on yourself, buddy. All right, flashing daggers for some... Uh, Area of effect damage. I don't know why Rob goes last. This is like a roguish character. Still no kills there, but Grape Shot should be amazing if it works. Nick still lived, but uh, Mathis 2.0 is back on Death's Door as well. Grape Shot should be amazing here. Can you just eat, please? No, you can't. Okay, Grape Shot, Grape Shot. 
one one two. You goddamn disaster. We gotta go for the kill, I think. We might crit. We didn't, but that's okay. We got the kill. Don't get Mathis. Oh, thank God. Okay, can you eat now? No, 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 you can't. Uh, you should use incision. You got so close to the kill, but fucked it up. The bleed might do it. The bleed might do it. No, 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 no. Oh, they lived through death's door. Okay. Yeah, flash him with your dagger. Nice. How much HP does he have? One. He bled out. That's a kill for Math or for Nick, as far as I'm concerned. Whoo, okay, take all. Let's eat. Not you, specifically, you. Ah, he's off death's door. Okay. That's nice. Uh that got a little scary. Not gonna lie. Perched at the very Oh, Nick's bleeding again. Oblivion. We should really keep him healed. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Keep him healed. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal Okay, all the status themselves. effects are gone. Stack of books. They are desiccated and unremarkable. Let's use some torches to lower stress gain. The light. The promise of safety. We could abandon the quest, and I mean, that might not be the worst idea in the world, but you've watched me play XCOM. I don't like abandoning, uh... I don't like abandoning quests if it's avoidable. It looks like we've got no combat between next room and this room. Or like between the room after this one. The only question is whether we're going to be able to keep everybody alive because, uh, you know, once you lose people, death's door comes a lot quicker. Or I should say, like, death itself comes a lot quicker. Little treasure. Uh, let's just ignore it. Oh, Mathis, he can't, uh, he can't resist. I had a feeling that might happen. Uh, he is on death's door again, so we should probably heal him up. He's still poisoned, though. But it makes sense to heal them now, I think. Because if, uh, if we don't heal him now, then death's door could actually kill him. But every time this happens, we end up with stress. Like, everybody's getting stressed out like crazy because Mathis is almost dead over and over and over. Scouted traps will be visible on the ground. Select a hero and then click on the trap to attempt to disarm them. Who is the best at disarming? Do oh, DOD is just dodge. Okay. Known cheats. Hmm. Resilience. I don't know, man. <laughs> Let's have me do it. Control click. Disarmed. I'm a genius. We still need to heal Mathis. Everyone's getting stressed out as fuck. Are you happy, Mathis? Oh, good. He became selfish because he got too stressed out. So long as there's gold to be had, I'll cut on command. That's the kind of attitude that you want to have in your teammate. My pack chafes. Someone else carry it. This guy has been proven to be a big old dickhead. That's what you're being, man. You're being a dickhead. All right. Let's do this. Kill them before they get a chance to attack. Oh, good. We got surprised. And our weakest units got pushed to the front. All right, man. This did not protect Nick. So his resolve has become tested. And he became hopeless. Which is probably a bad start for us. I have nothing, I offer little more than a corpse. Oh good. Ha! If I fancied blind idiocy, I'd join the army. So he passed his turn. Lovely. Uh, Holy Lance. Does 6 to 13 damage. Don't fail me now. Oh, I love it. Okay, so he's still fairly useful in this spot. And that moved him up a, a little further. We get, we're getting crazy stress here though. Um, how much does Lunge do? 5 to 9? I think we gotta do it, even though it is gonna move Rob up. Oh, it's beautiful! The dream is real. Does it? Do I get to go? <laughs> Please don't let the enemy go and bash my brains in. Oh, he's going for Rob. That's okay. Good dodge. Good dodge. All right, so we should be able to get out of this. Okay. So he chose to pass his turn. That was not very smart. Rob can't do anything. He gives himself a better dodge chance. Okay, so we might as well do it, I guess. Bump in the night on Mathis. He dodged it, even though he's uh, world weary. Didn't get the kill, but that's okay. He tried. I have no attacks that I can do, which is bull and shit combined. Move me forward one. And then 
Don't pass. My work is in shambles. I have nothing to live for. Please don't pass. Oh, he did a noxious blast. I wanted to use a stun attack on him, though, to keep him from killing me on the next turn. All right, Rob gets to go. Please get the kill. You're my hero. We're working our way through here. It's All is not lost yet. Um, so Rob's going to move to the back. We're going to keep Mathis in the middle, even though that makes him a target. And then, Mathis, please eat some food. Eat all of our food, you asshole. And then we'll crank up our torches as well. There we go. How are we looking on the map here? Please just walk right past that one. Yes, do, do not even bother going into it. I think we only have to do this room, the next room, and the next room. I think we can leave one, maybe even leave two if we get super lucky. So we're going to move over to this room now. Nobody's on death's door. We need to crank up some more torches. Good stuff. Don't even touch the chemicals. Those could explode in your face. Okay, this is a scary one. We got surprised. Except for uh, except for Northern Lion 2.0. Tempting Goblet. That's stressful. Damage isn't that bad, but the stress is real. Don't you get your confidence shaken. Alright. This is Rob's time to shine. Four damage each is pretty good. Bumping the Yeah, keep attacking my tanky unit, please. Give me a chance out of this. Graveyard Slash? Hey, if Rob gets hit, that's okay. He's, uh... He's not the... Well, I don't want to say that he's not the most important. We're going to use Incision. Oh, that was supposed to give us a kill. Uh, does Mathis, if he gets to attack... Oh, thank God he got a dodge there. If he gets to attack, his pistol shot... Actually, you know, Duelist Advance is probably what we want here, because it does move him into position to do Grape Shot next turn, maybe. Oh, but he dodged. But we still move, right? Yeah, okay. And then we get Zealous Accusation for a kill and a decent amount of damage, actually. Not the best first turn, but it could have been worse. Um, I think we're going to zealously accuse again. It should get us another kill. Oh, it got us two. That's too good. Now, this poor motherfucker should be dead. We pistol pistol shot him. Game over, man. Game over. The stress is getting, it's getting real here. Four to nine damage versus three to seven. What's the crit? Ten? We'll try it. That's all right. That's okay. He might end up on... Someone might end up on death's door. Oh, no. We got lucky. Okay. Just finish the job. Beautiful crit. Take a little bit of stress off of people. In fact, Mathis is no longer... Uh, he's not had his resolve tested anymore. They can be beaten. Lucky. Like, extremely lucky. Get everybody back into their proper positions. Whoo! This is... Uh, is exciting. Nobody being on death's door is a huge boon. And then this next room should be the last room that we have to go to. Uh, let's crank up our torches here. I'm probably buying far stopped. too many torches. A blazing star oh, is oh. born. Rob lives. How did it come to this? Don't open it, Mathis. Don't open it, Mathis. Any treasures are mine. Oh, you asshole. Don't even talk. Oh, I knew it. He's bleeding. Mathis 2.0 is at death's door, and everybody is very freaked out by that. That should be the end of the quest, though. We've explored 90% of the rooms. Yeah, okay. Wow. Okay, so we got 3,000 plus 5,225. Not that many heirlooms, all things considered, but still. The fact that we lived is awesome. Did anybody hit level 2? Not quite, but we got pretty close. A few people are stressed out beyond belief, though. There is a great horror beneath the All right, so Kate a is... Where's Kate 2.0? That must be destroyed. Kate 2.0 is left in search of a holy vision. What the hell, girl? You were, like, part of the greatest quad umbrate I had. Anyway, Bear Taffy has no stress. The survivalist has now unlocked. The Nomad Wagon is now unlocked. Okay. Mathis 2.0 is now an apprentice highwayman. Oh, that's why I couldn't upgrade him, because he was level 0. I remember now. Survivalist, upgrade your camping At skills. I places, could understand this being useful on longer missions, of course. Survivor, and the Nomad and Wagon. Strict instructor. What does this allow us to do? I guess we buy items here. Wagon size. Upgrading the Nomad Wagon improves the trinket purchase selection and reduces their cost. We've got like a real rogue legacy thing going on here. First things first. Uh, Nick, what are your traits like? Scattering? Obsessed with cleanliness and slow draw. You need to get yourself 
some enjoyment. So you know what, Nick? I'm gonna throw you into the brothel here. It's expensive. Hopefully this uh, works out well for you. Who else is super stressed? Mathis 2.0 is not in a good place. Hylomania bad humors. We're gonna have him uh, go to the bar. Northern Lion 2.0. You're gonna go to the gambling hall. We're gonna spend like almost all of our money just healing ourselves up. Alpaca Patrol, what are, what are your things? Known cheat, weak grip. You're gonna go to the transept and pray to a higher power. And I think that's pretty much all we can afford for now. So I'm gonna say thanks for watching before we go out on our next mission. You know, we could probably actually afford to go to the blacksmith and upgrade ourselves a little bit. So who's gonna, Bear Taffy's gonna be out on the next mission. We should upgrade his abilities. But these aren't the abilities that I wanted to upgrade. Oh, it's the guild, sorry, that upgrades the abilities. Send Bear Taffy to the guild, which is, uh, that is the guild. Oh, I, I put him in the blacksmith by accident, okay. Put Bear Taffy up here. We need to upgrade his heal, because it's awesome. Gives it zero to 12, that's pretty good. Uh, I think we can afford to do one more, maybe. We don't need to do it on Bear, though. Who else is gonna be going out on the next mission? Is it gonna be all scrubs? It's gonna be full scrubs. So we actually can't upgrade them, because they're all gonna be level zero, I think. That's unfortunate. Well, we'll save our money for provisions, I guess. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.